Hello, my name is Yusuke. I graduated from University of Tokyo, and I'll talk about interesting things at the uni, which make your visit more enjoyable. University of Tokyo was established in 1877. Edo period ends in 1868 and new modern government was established around that time. Tokyo Uni is the first modern university and now it is the top one uni in Japan. A huge earthquake shook Tokyo in 1923, and most of the buildings in Tokyo Uni collapsed. Just after the earthquake, Yoshikazu Uchida, built a lot of buildings which are strong against earthquakes with beautiful Gothic style. The style is called Uchida Gothic. So, many are buildings in Tokyo Uni around around 100 years old. The most famous building, Yasuda Hall is also Uchida Gothic architecture. This is the main library and of course it is Uchida Gothic architecture. The fountain was used to extinguish fires and save the important articles. It's not only an ornament, it has practical meanings. Students can chill at the pond in the campus. The pond is called Sanshiro Pond because a novel, Sanshiro, written by famous novelist, Soseki Natsumi, set in this pond. This campus used to be a wealthy samurai's residence and the pond was a part of Japanese garden. You still can see some Japanese gardens feature. Studying environment is perfect. Many famous architects built unique buildings in the campus. This building is built by Maki Fumihiko. The design with glasses and light is elegant. This architecture is from Tadao Ando. 100 meters concrete wall is shutting the noise and lets students concentrate on studying. This architecture with marvelous facade is designed by Kengo Kuma. The Japanese sweet shop here is really good. Even though you are not interested in architecture, you should visit here. This is the main gate of Tokyo Uni, and it was built before the big earthquake in 1923. This is the red gate. The wealthy samurai, Nariyasu Mita got married with a lady from Tokugawa family. Tokugawa was a samurai family who did governance during Edo period, so the Red Gate was the way to show Mita's respect to Tokugawa. You can see Mita family's crest at the roof. So, this is the end of the short story about University of Tokyo. Oh, the last thing. This restaurant serves really really good Japanese food. Thank you for watching. I'll share some story about Tokyo's urban context soon again. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.